Hello everyone, welcome to another fun session with me. This is Sanyukta Saxena and taking our journey forward with Zentangle Winter Tiles. Today we are going to draw another beautiful tile uh, with the winter effect. Yes. So what I'm going to do is start with drawing a star string. Yes. One of the decorations usually used in Christmas during Christmas. Yes. So I have drawn a star. Basically I have drawn two triangles here. Yes, and now I'm going to use my boulder nib to create the outline for the star. Yes, so let's get started right away. Take few deep breaths. Make sure you are sitting comfortably with adequate lighting. The star need not be perfect. It's okay. Don't bother too much about whether all the triangles are equal in size or not equal in size. That's fine. I just drew two triangles freehand to create this star. Yes. Now, next step is to tangle inside and we shall see if we want to tangle outside. We can do that later. So, I'm going to pick up my Micron O1 and start with some tangling inside. Start with a tangle like Flux. Yes. Rick's version of Flux. So, start with these nice and big balloon shapes. You can also add a small triangle here just like a small embellishment. Again, a nice big balloon shape, a droplet shape. Very tiny spaces you can comfortably ink and other spaces that are created in between. You can just add some tipple there. Like this. Yes, so I'm going to add a couple of them. Adding a small triangle on the head of the flux here. Yes, you can draw as many as you wish. Draw some nice orbs sitting here and there. A very integral part of the tangle flux adds a lot to the look of the tangle. Yes, and then probably we'll add a few here. Yes. So we have started with a couple of flux and now I'm going to switch tangles. So I'm going to straight away switch to a tangle called Ficops. Yes. And draw some Ficops here and there. So what I'm doing is drawing some curved lines just like C starting from the same point. And then I'm going to connect these, drop a line to about three fourth of the next line. Yes, from here to here and then you can bring it down here and then drop a line from here to about half of this line. Tangled pattern Ficop. Yes, I'm going to do the same exercise here also. So you can draw lines in any direction that you wish to. That's perfectly fine. Yes, first line, second line, first line, second line, first line, drawing behind here. Yes, so it's two of them. These spaces you can very comfortably push in some tipple or if you want to add some further flux, you can do that. Very small spaces, tiny spaces. Feel free to ink. Again, let us add some Vcops here also. So I am again going to start from here. Giving a nice curve to the lines. 
but all lines starting from the same point yes and then the first set of lines like this and then the second set of lines like this tangle pattern peacock yes this part i'm again going to add some flux squeeze in some nice and beautiful flux there and add some tipples in between very small tiny spaces you can just ink or you can add small tiny tipples there the way you wish to that's fine yes now let us add some bit of clouds here uh, on the left hand corner or on both sides you can also add some something like trees but i'm going to take a cue from a straight line Yes, so I'm going to roll in my printums on this line to give the effect of a creeper or a tree. I think Zentangle headquarters calls it a version of vertigo only, but. there are so many overlaps so it can be opus it can be printums on stems so whatever you want to call it whichever way you want to relate it again some hidden ones there take your time Yes if you want you can add a few more probably one more line we shall see that if we want to do more first let us add the skies yes so first thing i'm going to use my chalk pencils so starting from the darkest to the lightest so first add the chalk So this is a simple star string so as i mentioned i just started with two triangles and then connected them to form a star connected the points that i got to make a star but if you want you can draw it any other way the way you are comfortable that's fine some people can draw it free hand yes <laughs> without any triangles or anything so let us first blend and we shall see if we want to add further things we can of course go back and tangle more blend push the chalk into the paper yes you can add some more blues and then you can go on to add some whites so i have my white chalk also here so i'm going to add some whites here and blend them all together
take your time and slowly do that exercise yeah so once you are done with blending your blues now again let us tangle a little more so what i'm going to do is you can either fill up these spaces with black or you can just add some fine lines like this yes that's entirely up to you how do you want to it's almost as good as coloring i'm adding very fine lines to this section it adds to the look of this tangle yes so again take your time some of the lines which have gone hazy just redo the lines at the same time as you draw these fine lines yes take your time like this yes you want you can add a reindeer which is hidden back here yes so what i'm going to do is just add a slight portion of his head and then kind of draw these big very small portion visible here nice christmas feel draw the way you wish to yes reindeer hidden there not really showing more than that something like this yes if you want you can ink this with white jelly roll or you can add white jelly roll here yes and add red some part of it can be red let's use some red there adding some red some black this pen is not working well on chalk so it's better to switch to brush pen just a hidden one there draw it the way you wish to no hard and fast rules there it's an idea you can take it from here probably these ears can be highlighted a little more why not make it black yes and now comes the time for snow so first we'll draw the snow and then we will shade the rest of our tile yes now if you want to draw something here like clouds or something then you can add some spirals here also it's entirely up to you optional you may may not so printums are a nice way to give a cloud kind of a feel take your time draw as many as you wish to if you don't wish to you can do away with this step
your time. Yes, so let's now add some snow first. Use your jelly roll. I'm just adding dots. If you want, you can also add some star kind of shapes. Something like this. Yes. It's optional. How do you want to go about it? And then some on these. the way we have been doing till now following the same process some bit of snow some dots here Take your time. Yes, and then you can also use your blue pen, the blue jelly roll, to add some glitter dots. Yes, done with that. Some ice here. And now let us add some white chalk here. Again to give that icy kind of an effect. Frozen effect. And we shall also shade a little. Yes. So let us blend this much. Make sure you use different stuffs, else you will mess up the whites and the blues and the grays. Yes. So time for some graphite. So use your pencil to add some bit of graphite. Also as that will add to the look. So just adding a slight touch under these lines of FICOP and some bit on the flux which are visible a little, not much, whatever little is visible, just adding some touches, yeah. Now blend without blending too much soft touch not much like this very little bit on the flux just a few places Yes, 
so once you are done with that you can also add some more tipples if you want so some can be placed or if you want to add some caviars tipple is a good idea so just add some bit of shading and a dot on the other side it will add to the look yes so you can add a few more give some more just redoing the snow a little bit after we have added graphite so that it stands out yes that's snow now we also have to add an inner aura with our jelly roll so do that exercise it really add to the look the winter look and a transcending kind of an effect yes so we have done this exercise in all our tiles so do it here revisit the black bold line if it has gone hazy at few places yes almost there yeah done with that and i'm going to revisit this black line after adding shading since it has gone white at many of the places so do that exercise it's important that the line is bold enough yeah now the rest of the section is yours you can add anything that you wish to so let's add a simple a uh, geometric pattern a simple geometric pattern by the name paradox yes now you can either use your black pen or you can do that exercise with your white pen also yes so if you want to use the jelly roll you can do that here <coughs> and draw the paradox so paradox starts with these lines which deviate to form a very small angle as you reach towards the end the other side yes so starting here as you go towards the end you form a small angle so you deviate a little and you keep repeating this exercise till you fill up all the space yes so that's paradox and you can very comfortably add some black pearls over it so i'm going to enclose all these areas first with my black you may not do that also you can do everything with white itself the jelly roll so let's do the same so again i'm going to start here form a small angle as i reach the end tangle paradox take your time so since spaces are small you don't really have to lift your hand also you can go in the flow and draw it without lifting your hand again starting from one end and forming a small angle i reach as i reach the other end and i do the same thing 
for all the sides I am moving clockwise you can go anti-clockwise also yes so paradox is a very versatile tangle capable of for forming meta patterns as you change the direction of the lines depends on whether you are drawing clockwise anti-clockwise and depends in which grid you are drawing it accordingly it forms so many meta patterns because the kind of a fan that is formed inside changes its directions and creates meta patterns simple tangle purely line based yes you can give a slight curve to the lines if you wish to Tangle by Rick Roberts. So I'm doing the same exercise for all these sections. I thought white will look nice. But you can always do it with black also. yes so that's paradox now rest of the portion you can either leave it the way it is or you can add some black pearls all around yes something like this just go around and complete the tile or you can leave the border as such I feel like doing this because once you add black pearls all around it really gives a nice lift to your entire tile yes yes so I'm almost done drawing my black pearls all around the small border that we had left And once you are done with that, just use your jelly roll and touch on the highlight that you have left with your white jelly roll. And your pearls kind of pop up immediately. A small touch is all you need. almost done yeah so as far as these paradox are concerned if you want you can always add a touch of graphite probably what is already there on your stuff is sufficient to add that much of shadow or you can add more if you want I don't wish to so I'm just touching my stub and adding a slight shadow on the paradox yes a little more embellishment if you wish then you can also add some fine dots here and deck up your ficops a little but again these things are not compulsory if you wish to you may or you can do away with it something like this highlights your ficops a little more yes since we already have snow there so you may or may not do it
that's it yes so let us close our tile here so put in your chop sitting somewhere cozily must sign and date your tile i shall see you again with one or two more sessions of this winter special series till then have a good time bye bye